Hi, my name is Monica Witkowska and this is my personal brand video. Currently, I'm a Swedish student at the Academy of Contemporary Music, earning my degree in music business and innovation. I speak Polish, Swedish and English. In Franz Bagras Jean's 1982 publication, Life with Two Languages and Introduction to Bilingualism, declare that bilingualism has positive effects that facilitate learning a new language, and reported that in school, bilingual children are more motivated and often ahead of other classmates, especially in intellectual development. I was born in 1994 in Gothenburg, Sweden, and lived there for nine years. In 2003, I moved with my family to Warsaw, Poland, where I attended a prestige private school for 10 years called the American School of Warsaw. I learned English within six months. Additionally, I took French classes for four years and Spanish for another two to educate myself in other languages. My time at ASW gave me a lot of opportunities, both academically and practically. I was CPR certified in 2010 and then again in 2012, which is something not a lot of people are, and I find it very important to know what to do in emergency situations, whether it's at work or at home. In 2011, I started the two-year International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. This taught me to become more academic in my current and future studies. It allowed me to take classes that I found interesting, such as psychology and theater. In the summer of 2012, I took a one-month course in acting for film at the New York Film Academy in Los Angeles. This was an amazing experience for me as it taught me a lot about film production. I've studied acting in both theater and film and music for over six years, along with the two-year IB psychology course. These subjects helped me understand the creative industries better. After two years of IB, I graduated with a bilingual IB diploma, as I took Swedish as a higher level. After graduating from the American School of Warsaw in 2013, I moved to Los Angeles to study acting full-time at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, where classes included movement and improvisation. In this world of acting, I started to miss music. In the summer of 2014, I started the Musicians Institute in Hollywood, where I was taught by high-profile professionals. This course taught me both the creative and business side of music. It allowed me to take music business classes as well as performance. During this time, I interned at a company called Milk & Honey in Los Angeles that specialized in management, licensing, and marketing. I helped choose tracks for artists, attended any meetings, and dealt with emails. This internship brought me closer to the music industry. During my free time in LA, I volunteered at a dog shelter called Ace of Hearts Rescue, where I helped with events and dog walking. After one year of attending Musicians Institute, I decided to move to the UK to earn my bachelor's degree in music business and innovation at the Academy of Contemporary Music in Guildford. I decided to take full advantage of the opportunities given to me by ACM. As I was still interested in performance, I joined the ACM Electron Choir. This experience allowed me to connect with students in other courses, as well as give me real-life performance experience as we got many different opportunities such as Christmas caroling, studio recording, full-side recording, as well as film production. We were even featured as background vocalists on a track with Rod Stewart. I volunteered to take part in the Music Business News at the first audience session. The audience sessions changed the structure of presenting business news from on stage to on camera. I would come in weekly to film the ACM Music Business News, which was later showed at the audience sessions. This gave me the opportunity to meet Helen Gammons, who was the head of the business department at ACM and author of The Art of Music Publishing, which later led to another opportunity. I became a researcher for the second version of Art of Music Publishing. 
After the music business news, Helen invited me to attend the London Sync Sessions at the Metropolis Studios, both in 2015 and 2016, where I networked with many professionals and learned all about the sync world of the music industry. Following this, I was invited again by Helen to attend the Young Adults Forum, which was held at the House of Commons. The panel discussed topics such as education, business, and current issues. In the beginning of 2016, ACM used to have networking hubs for the students, where working professionals in the music industry came in and discussed what they do. One time, Caroline Bottomley came in and talked about Radar Music and told us that she has a volunteering opportunity for the upcoming Radar Music Awards, which were held at the YouTube space in London. During the event, I had to interview winners of the Music Radar Awards and helped out with checking in guests. This experience was truly amazing, as not only did we get to see the YouTube space in London, but it allowed me to get to know the filmmakers who had won awards. During the weekly ACM Music Business News got me noticed as I was asked by IndustryLink at ACM to intern for them. I was helping out with different tasks such as researching as well as assisting ACM's videographer, Julia Howard, to film masterclasses. One of the most notable masterclasses was with Phil Campbell of Motorhead. Julia taught me different techniques on how to use the camera which later led me to taking pictures for Industry Link's noise theory events. Where many different ACM bands, such as Lost in Venice, One Click Malice, and Kabbalist performed in various different locations. Photographing for Industry Link got me noticed by ACM students, as the pictures were posted on their Facebook page crediting me. This then led me to being credited on Lost in Venice's website, as well as Donna Maria's website both whom are ACM artists. In the middle of 2016, I started interning for Music Gateway, where I was responsible for accepting pitches, marketing, blogging, and metadata. This helped me understand more about music synchronization as I worked closely with both Head of A&R and Head of Sync. Another volunteering opportunity that came my way was the AIM Conference Music Connected 2016. I was responsible for checking in guests and helping to set up. This allowed me to attend a panel where they discussed case studies in the music industry. In the beginning of 2017, I was eager to find an internship, which is when I signed up for Music Match. Music Match is a global publication and online community that brings job opportunities and daily news from the world of film, TV, music, and gaming. This website gave me the internship I am at now. It is a six-month internship at Phonetic Recordings and Mustard Music Publishing in Twickenham, London. This internship is giving me a real-world opportunity and understanding of the music industry. Recently, I was headhunted by Music Gateway. They offered me a paid position to assist in the catalog and everyday tasks at the office. One of my tutors at ACM advised me to buy a domain with my name on it, monikavitkovska.com. However, it is currently under construction. It will be showing my education and work experience I've had in the past, which can get me headhunted quicker for any future jobs. A report in 2002 by John Brennan found that work experience during higher education has a positive effect on employment outcomes for graduates in the UK. Recently, I applied at the University of West London and was offered a position to earn my master's in film production. I will be starting in September 2017 and graduating in 2018. The Guardian reported on data from the Higher Education Statistics Agency and showed that 86.6% of postgraduates were working in professional positions six months after graduating, compared with 64% of first-degree graduates. Following my graduation from University of West London, I hope to find a job in a production company as a producer or perhaps a music supervisor. I hope to stay in London as that is where the film industry and music industry are located in the UK. 
As a current music business student at ACM, the past year and a half has gone by quickly and has allowed me to make connections and build my professional profile by showing I am a highly motivated individual who is not afraid of hard work, enjoys challenges, and has a good sense of humor. According to Carl Jung's personality test, I am an introvert, sensor, thinker, judger. This means that I concentrate on the job logically and thoroughly to get it done in time. I'm very responsible, dependable, and hardworking. This personality test is based on personalities and types that fit certain kinds of jobs. I'm willing to learn and take in any information given to me. As I'm a person who has studied both film and music, it gives me the advantage over other candidates in the creative industries. The business side of creative industries is not just about business, but it's also about creativity. My name is Monica Witkowska. Thank you so much for watching.